Now what we're going to do here is we're going to separate the base from the actual timber work or the actual table. And how that's done is up inside there and inside there on the singers you have two screws but on the German machine, some of them, you have three. So I've removed all the um, screws from in there. Notice I've disconnected the belt. Very important because if she's connected up she's not going to happen and then you just pull that out and stand it up. So now we'll actually have a look at the condition of this. It actually looks to me like it's really just very very dirty. Has had a bit of possibly a bit of rain on it but you can see here that's just powder. So what we're going to do here is first just go over it with a soft brush. Now you can see what that's doing already. It's actually brought it up very, very nicely. But I'm only just going to do one section. See, these have a lot of paint sometimes put on the high parts around there. So what we're going to do is the first thing. Let's just keep it between you and me. But what I've done is I've stolen the wife's dishcloth because I wanted one that's been used and the actual scotch bride on the back is pretty well worn. So between you and I, don't tell Judy. So you can see here you've got some paint. So we'll do the real soft stuff. And you can see already how that gold around there is already highlighted. I'll try not to splash too much on the camera. So you have a look at all the gold on this. This is just absolutely delightful. This is what we really enjoy about restoring machines. It's just seeing what a little bit of care. Again, I'm using the sponge side. Once again, nobody ring up my wife and tell Judy that I've stolen her sponge because I'm going to hope to actually get this back in the sink after I've rinsed it a bit and um, she'll be none the wiser but I know she'll know but it's just a game we play but you can already see again all you're doing is just removing the dust so you can already see what that's like so now we'll go in and we'll have a look at the centre bit here. Right now this you can see it's got A&A. &A. That's been painted so we're going to be very very soft. Because you do anything too abrasive and you're actually going to lift that. Yeah. So here we go, you can have a look here and just see how that's coming up. Again, you can see the gold, which is highlighting. So this will give you the basic idea. What we've got to do is just get all the dust off. Oops, I've now been sprung. So here we go. And we'll just have a look and just see, you see down here how the beautiful lines earlier you wouldn't have even noticed that. We'll just go down a little bit more. And again, just a soft, but look at that, how wonderful. Now I know where the sponge went from the sink. <laughs> oh, sprung. It's okay. I, I might be able to buy her another one. <laughs> One message to all you fellas out there, <laughs> don't think 
you're going to outsmart your wife because it just <laughs> won't happen. <laughs> Sprung again. <laughs> Oh, it's looking really good. But yeah, so you can see just with a short period of time, just a little bit how well that's come up. So that's basically, you can see that's what it looked like. Okay, thank you very much and good luck with that and hope you get the sponge out before you get sprung. Now this is what she's come up like. Um, I'm very sorry to say that the sponge didn't make it, but you can now see here. I've just given it a complete once over with that. And you can see on the end here how the gold has come out. You know, I've just hosed it down with a garden hose under no pressure. And you can see that deckel in the middle. It has come out, but I don't know how well that's going to come out. So that's what she's come up, but you can see the beautiful gold down the sides here. It's really hard to believe it's the same base. So we'll just keep on trucking. Right, well here we go now. We've got the base, we've given it a good clean up. Try and give you a close look here. You can see you've got a lot of rust on high points there. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I've given it a good scrub down with a scourer. I've taken the high rough edges off it. So what I'm going to do now is just going to hit it with this is what we use which is rust converter. I don't think you can see that. We'll try and get it from a distance which is rust converter, primer and sealer. So I'm going to put that on. What it's going to do is, where the Japaning is, it's going to just highlight the Japaning. And where this rust is, it's going to turn it black. And it'll actually look pretty. So we'll even go over the decals because what that's going to do is that's actually going to highlight and just bring the gold out. Over good stuff it just becomes a, a sealer and over the rusted areas it'll just turn everything black. So you don't go liberally, you just give it a nice light coat up the top here that I'm doing here now. That's actually really good because that was underneath the base. So this is really not going to have much problem there. But then we'll get down, just keep going over the areas where there's a bit of decal to make sure that you don't have large build up. And what you will see is as this sets, it's just going to turn lovely and black. And where there's gold, what's remaining, if we went in there with a wire brush or something like that, what you're going to do is you're going to be removing some of the existing Japaning or the black paint that's on there, and you'll also be damaging the gold. So this by no stretch of the imagination is your complete restoration job, but this is basically just a very, very quick and easy satisfactory, right? As I said, it's an undercoat. So being an undercoat, it's not going to be good for outdoors. If you're going to take it outdoors, you're going to need to probably put a... Um, a good enamel over the top. But um, these were never extremely bright and shiny and you know if a lot of people powder coat them to me I don't like it because it looks false. So we'll just give that a little while and let this start to cure off and you can see already the effect it's having. So what we'll do is we'll come round. Right, you can see how that's come up, coming up really nice. So this one here, A and A, 
which is all native Australian. So we'll give that a You may be cringing at this, but trust me. But the Australian decals that they put on, in my opinion, are nowhere near as high quality as the decals made other places in the world. So a lot of the Australian decals you'll find actually wear off. And the Australian, once you find especially we've noticed with the Ward Brother machines, and A&A &A is Ward Brothers. But one thing you'll find is um, their decals, where this being a German machine, the machine came over with the German decals on it, and that's far better quality. So you'll find here, the A&A &A was put on here in Australia, where that decal there, was actually, um, I'd say, put on in Germany. So you can just see the total quality. You can now see that that's starting to go green. It'll go green and then it'll go black. So we'll give it the once over. Once you've, uh, once I've finished. Now here's how she's come up. I've given her two coats. Now I've put it in the sun so you can obviously see the blemishes and all the parts that you missed. This would normally be sitting in your uh, lounge room or dining room or sewing room and you wouldn't actually um, have this dynamic light on it. So this is just great to have a look at whilst you're um, doing it up. Even have a look at around that actual wheel guard there. So you can see there it's got gold all around it so it's even lifted that gold, which is round there. The A&A &A hasn't come, but you can see the gold all around here, down here. It really is an extremely... It's not your perfect, it's not your most wonderful um, job. But uh, for a backyarder's attempt, and with my trade name, Rough as Guts, and it costs very, very little. It's probably more the scorning of your wife when she finds out you've pinched a scourer. But failing that, this is quite a good practical result.